guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box and today we are doing a really fun cookie. We're making a mermaid. Now I've made mermaids in the past and they've been kind of cartoonish and very cute, but today's mermaid is very serene. She looks like she's floating. I just love the shape of this cookie cutter from Ann Clark and you can find it in our shop. I'll post a link below. So I'll show you step by step how to make this design, but be sure to also check out the blog post. I'll share tips on the icing colors I'm using, also some baking tips as well. Let's get started on this cookie. There are a couple of small icing areas, so I'm actually gonna start off by outlining and flooding the face using tip number one and 20 second icing. I love the 20 second icing for those small icing areas because it's a little bit thinner than piping icing, but it's thicker than my flood icing, which means it flows, but it can also hold its shape pretty well. So it's great for thin areas like arms or a neck. And if I need to reshape any areas, I just poke my tip up into there and pump a little bit more icing into it. Now while this icing is still wet, I'm going to add some seashell sprinkles. Of course you could pipe these on there, but these sprinkles are so cute. They add a great pop of color and you don't have to mix any other icing, so it's kind of a bonus. Now I'm gonna outline the fin and I'll let the body area dry before I move on to flooding anymore. So I'm pretty generous flooding in the turquoise icing. And while it's still wet, I'm going to add some stripes. If you're looking for more details on the icing colors I'm using, you can check them out on the blog post. Again, I'm using the 20 second icing to pipe the mermaid's hair. And because it's such a small area, I'm using a tip number one. Plus notice how I pulled that icing down around the side of her face on the right side. I just wanna give the illusion that that icing is wrapping around behind her face as she's floating in the water. Then I'll just fill in the rest of those areas and let that icing on the hair and the tail dry. After the icing has about an hour to dry, I'm ready to add the details. So I'll pipe some lines for the hair and that just gives a really nice texture. I'm still using that 20 second icing. I didn't mix any more icing to do the details. And now I'm going to add eyelashes for this serene, cute mermaid face. And I'm using a marker because the face is so small. These ultra fine food dealer markers are great for those small details. And I didn't have to mix any other colors, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna add a little rosy blush to the mermaid's cheeks. I'm using the carnation pink and I'm using my silver white brush. This is the zero size. It's just really small because this uh, section of the cookie is small that I'm working on. I just wanna have a small brush for those details. I'm almost done. I'm gonna pipe the accent at the mermaid's waist. And I'm gonna use tip number 1.5 to pipe some thin, delicate details on the fin. And as I pipe this last detail, this mermaid is ready for a belly button and she's all done. I hope you enjoyed this look at the mermaid. Now, I did freehand this cookie just because I felt comfortable doing that, but I also am providing a free template for you to download. You can just jump down to that blog post link and click over, and you can use that template, cut and trace lines onto the cookie or use it in your projector. Plus, in that blog post, there are extra tips on icing colors and baking as well, so check that out. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy decorating!